Hi, welcome to my channel. I am the Homie Yosh, and in this video, we're going to read Target Animation Blueprints. So I went ahead and in this, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, it's a CG Trader where I have a A pose uh, male model that you can download uh, for free, and you can use it in this tutorial. So you just go to free download. You can just go ahead and download the FBX. Now I have it in A pose, so it should be no problem. You can put it straight into the Unreal Engine. So you just go to Save As. You find out where your your Unreal Engine is at. That's for mine. I have it in my E drive, and I'm doing retargeting animations. Okay, so I go to the content and I have it under characters. So I'm going to put it in a new folder. I'm just going to call this Rick. So we're going to call it Rick Steel. Okay, so everything's going to go ahead and download. Like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and open our Unreal Engine. So I'm using Unreal Engine uh, 5.1. Okay, there it is. Like see, hit play. This is an animation that I was already working on. Oh, we got to import it. Now here below is our import. So you just click on import and then you leave everything blank. So it's going to go ahead and create a skeleton for the character. And it's going to label it as the uh, label that we have here under Rick Steel. So everything looks correct. I'm just going to go import all. So we just wait for that to import. It should only take a minute. Okay, now that's done. We go to our content, go under characters, and now it should be under Rick. Okay, these are the three characters. All this is a mess. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna add another folder. Let's call this textures. We'll call it mats. It doesn't matter what you call it. It'll leave a new folder. But grab on to the first. Hit shift to the last. And you want to skip these three. Then hold in control. And go all the way down to the last one. Hold in shift. And now that should all the materials should be highlighted. And leaving these three alone. And you just click on the first one and drag it over to the folder. Now that's going to move, you want to move here. That's going to move everything that's selected into the texture. So that's going to clean everything up. And this should take just a minute. Okay, so now that leaves us the, uh, the skeletal mesh, the uh, physics, and the regular skeleton. And as you can see, it's already labeled the skeleton as Rick Steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to go into the characters and I'm going to go under mannequins and you want to do animations. Now you got your AB Manny is the first one you want to collect. The Quinn is under a subclass of Manny. So I choose the Manny. So just click on it right click and where it says retarget animation assets duplicate and retarget animation blueprints so you click on that so now once you have clicked on that you're going to get this duplicate and retarget animation assets up here so what you want to do is go under ik retargeter and where it has none in the arrow click down and you want to see where it says ue5 Manny slash UE for Manny. Now, so we're going to click on this one. 
as you can see, here's the mannequin that's going to transfer the blueprints over to our UE4. So we're going to switch this to our Rick Steel that we just downloaded. Now they're both in the A pose. So now I'm going to go and change this folder. This is where it's going to put the animations in. So I'm going to go to characters and I'm going to go onto the Rick. And I'm going to click OK. So now everything's set up. So he, you're retargeting from the UE5 Manny mannequin. Oh, this is a sample. I don't want to use this sample. I guess that's what set up set us up. Okay. We can use I'll just keep it like that. Okay, so then after that, you just hit retarget and you're gonna get a retarget animation. Okay. And what you want to do is you just want to give it a, like a little code name at the end. So I hit F2 to rename, but instead of deleting it, at the end I just want to hype Rick Scott. And I'll just put Rick Steel. Okay, so now we got AB, ABP Manny Rick Steel. So now I'm going to go into, we're going to go and check this out, make sure everything's working. I want to go into the content, I want to go to third person, and under blueprints, I'm going to click on the third person blueprints. Now that's going to open your blueprint folder, in which you want to go to viewport. And you want to click on the mesh, the scale, the character mesh. Now you want to go into the details panel. Now, right down where it says mesh, skeletal mesh assets, um, mine says Quinn, yours should be the third person character, um, the Huey 4 mannequin. And I want to type in Rick, the Rick Steel mannequin. Okay, now here's our mesh it imported but we did not get the animations with it. So now we want to bring in the animation class that we just made up. Now, there, there's our ABP, Manny, Rick Steel. And there goes the animations right there. So let's go ahead and give this try. We're gonna compile this out and we're gonna go ahead and play. And there we have the jump animation, we have the walk animation, and we have the run animation. There's a couple other ones here. You can go over these animations. Let me bring the blueprints back in, folder in. So let me close this one. Let me go into content, characters. Rick. So this go ahead, this one had and downloaded, retargeted the animations and gave us the blueprints that we needed. If you remember the last video we made, the animation blueprints, this already had it made it for us. So instead of doing all that work, that's all we had to do is just retarget it. Now if you go ahead and hit play, you'd see that his hands are kind of crooked. So I'm going to have to do a little research on that. Um, I think I just have to mess with like, some sockets, but I will get make a next video um, how to uh, fix this problem. So that's it for this video. Uh, until next time, keep creating and Happy New Year.